So we had the ID Tech Hack show, and who are you? Uh, I'm Damon Brink. I'm the VP of Business Development with AC, uh, I Techno or ACI Materials. Um, we do conductive inks, uh, pastes, uh, encapsulants, and stretchable um, uh, adhesive materials. Is it in the jacket right here? Uh, yes, yeah, so there's, there's a number of things that, that we have on display here. One of these is a collaborative effort, and if you can see with your camera through our clear mannequin, we've got a stretchable heater. Oh. Um, and this, this uh, you know, we can't see it, feel yeah. it over the video, but it is uh, very hard to tell that there's anything there at all. Well, and this is a stretchable denim. It if works? It, it heats it, up? It, it does, it absolutely does. It heats it's up. hot right now? Um, it is not yeah, hot right now. It's not now, connected. But, so uh, we'll turn it on, and by yeah. the end of the video, it should be uh, a bit warm. Nice. And this is part of the tech you're doing, also right here. You're showing some flexible we've stuff. Got, we've got a few things yeah. here. Can you start there? Um, this is uh, close to the mic, one of our yeah. partners. Is uh, uh, an extent material. Um, so we have developed a conductive ink that is flexible uh, on that. Uh, there are LEDs surface mounted to that using one of our flexible conductive adhesives. Um, and so this is now at um, almost 40,000 cycles of, of bending. Nice, so it keeps yep. bending and yep. it still is okay? Yep, exactly, exactly. Yep. Uh, this, this is a demonstrator of some of our stretchable yep. inks. Yep. This uh, is uh, two, two conductors on top of one another. Um, stretches about 50% and you can see an LED uh, lit up at the end. Well, okay, and so yep. this, this change is very, uh, very little change in terms of thermal or uh, electrical conductivity across that path. Nice. And uh, what are you demonstrating here? Um, this is a demonstration of some of our different uh, inks uh, with different patterns, um, just as a, as a demonstrator. Uh, so we can get down to some very fine lines. Um, there are about 50 microns on this. So has your company been doing this for a long time? Uh, we've been in this space for about two years. Two years. Yes. And what's the background of the company? We have a core technology that allows us to disperse some very small particles in viscous medium. So perfect for conductive inks. We actually started in aerospace. Um, and now we have a full line of electronic materials for flexible hybrid electronics. And over here, you're showing some stuff uh, just behind right here. What is that stuff down there? This is a printed Arduino. So this is a different, uh, so a different substance. Is it the fragile or? It is not. This is the same, same one. Same right here. So it's an Arduino, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So Arduino is like an advanced thing, right? Uh, yeah, it's a programmable you know chip, so there yeah. isn't. Um, uh, this doesn't have the surface mounts on it, but it has all the printed pieces that would then be uh, put together. That's a flexible Arduino, really? That's it. Yeah. So this was designed by Nexflex. But what's and missing? There's something that's going to be missing, right? Well, the, so the, you have to the, solder the, on something? All the surface mount pieces are, are missing. So there's some small, uh, thin ICs that get bonded to these. To Is that easy to put them on the right place? Uh, the, the, the location is fine. It's not soldered, so we'd have a flexible epoxy, conductive epoxy that would connect. That just you. works. You put them on, and then you've got a little flexible Arduino. Yeah, hard, they're, they're, flexible. Uh, sure, there are, yeah, exactly. There are tricks to doing it, for sure, but um, um, as you can see, it's yeah. a fairly complex circuit, and uh, yeah. flexes, flexes well. And you have different uh, kind of materials to, you can do it different in different okay. kind of ways. This is like another kind of... Yeah, so this is the same pattern. Uh, this is on Kapton. On Kapton. So high, high temperature material. This is yeah. a, a PET. Yeah. Um, and we have stretchable, so we have a whole line of materials that goes on flexible TPUs, which is what I showed nice. you before. And what do you show on this, on the, on the wall here? Uh, uh, sorry, right here. Is this, so, what is it demonstrating so, here? So this, this, yeah. is, this is a uh, uh, flexible, stretchable die attached material. Uh, so what? for a die attached material, so for, okay. for large dies, what this is demonstrating is bonding a uh, die, a wire bonded die, directly to something like copper uh, as a heat sink. And so we've got, what happens is when you have large chips uh, uh, that are exposed to large thermal expansion or uh, large temperature ranges, you get thermal expansion differences which makes the chip stretch and flex with respect to the substrate. So by having a material that is able to stretch and accommodate that uh, movement, 
um, we can get some really good reliability. So we've gone through on this one thermal shock testing from minus 40 to plus 150 C for about 1800 cycles with no change in performance. Wow. Yep. And this is the, the flex heat technology you have in the jacket? Yes, and this is a collaboration with four companies, so uh, Principal Design, uh, Lubrizol, um, Butler Technologies, and, and ourselves. Um, and you can see the stack up here. So this, um, this is how it's all put together. What's all these different things here? Yep, yep, you this, there. Yep, this, yep. Is all, this is all put together. Um, there's a few kind of things. We have a stretchable denim, as you saw earlier on the jacket. Um, this is a, a stretch restrictive material that is made by Lubrizol that can be screen printed yep. uh, and functionally graded to create yep. that. And this uh, then is the uh, TPU substrate yep. that, that we go on. And here is. <coughs> Then the uh, resistive material is printed on top of that. That creates the heat as electrical current goes through it. Uh, the bus bars are made from our more highly conductive uh, stretchable inks, and then over top is a stretchable encapsulant um, so that it can be washed. And uh, so the, the stuff you have is special for the industry? Uh, it, it is, in terms of the stretch. Um, the stretch that, that we can achieve with this is, is unique. You have uh, a unique stretch. Yes, uh, so we, we can, uh, stretch a couple hundred percent uh, without the line going open, uh, which is definitely unique. Which is very important for e-textiles. It, it is, it is. Yep. Uh, for many applications where you need to have uh, something that doesn't increase in resistance as you go. Mm -hmm. And ho ho so how far are you from the mass production? Uh, are you anything of any of these things already in mass production? Um, we're in qualification on a number of these types of products. The uh, the uh, materials themselves are available commercially. Yep. And then uh, hopefully this becomes a huge thing, right? Oh, well, absolutely. We all get heating jackets yeah, and, yeah. and with other, sure. a sure. lot of other things will happen in the smart textiles. Uh, indeed. You can be part of a lot in, of it. Indeed, indeed. We like to say we make the picks and shovels for e-textiles. We make the, the conductors and the, and the stretchable pieces that connect sensors and batteries and other uh, other things on, on the textiles themselves. So how's it been, the ID Tech X show? Oh, it's great. Uh, we have a, a, a great number of leads and a great deal of traction, so. Yep, yep.